Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I am being joined by Danny Mobley, who is a serial entrepreneur and he's been working on a project for a very long time and he's here with me today in Texas to introduce to you guys Downtime Trace. Yeah. Downtime Trace is an app that's going to change the way that we service medical imaging equipment. Now right now it's going to launch in Texas mm -hmm. and it's going to be centered around medical imaging but eventually later maybe it's going to include some other modalities some other specialties but the concept is is that it's an app that resides on a customer's cell phone and they're going to say hey I, I need help and then the technicians or the companies that are going to be registered with downtime trace are going to be able to bid yeah. on on the job yep walk us through like w what's the process yeah yeah so Customers have to set up first, right? There's a lot that goes into it. We gotta get their accurate data. Okay. Not only just their inventory data, but we also have to get their organizational data. So we can set up the approvals through their hierarchy. Okay. You know, as you know, these are expensive repairs. And sometimes the technologist who makes the call can't really say yes to like a twenty thousand dollar repair, right? So that's all worked out. So from the customer vantage point, they're loaded. And once they hit that button as a technologist, you know, because their anxiety is high, they're like freaking out. It's a pre-approved right? like Blank yeah, check, right? Yeah, they, they, okay. and it, not only does it uh, have that hierarchy for approvals, but it also has a communication hierarchy. So patient scheduling will be notified. Like all those people that need to be notified will be notified automatically that there's a bid going out. Okay. And so they, we call it blast. It, like, I mean, we actually even have a rocket ship that goes once <laughs> you, right? So, and so it, the, the rocket ship essentially goes to the technicians, number one, who are competent to work okay. on the piece of it, that make and model. And if you're talking even like ultrasound, even the version, right? We want to have it down yep. to the level to where the, the, the bid's not just going out to anybody, right? It's going to go okay. specifically to that those people who are competent and within geographical proximity of the equipment. So they're the only ones receiving what we call the job or the blast. Okay. And then once they get the blast, you bid. You okay. bid and then the, the customer gets the opportunity to choose who they want to come out. And how they make that choice is really interesting. So there's going to be three, four factors. So let's go over some of the factors that mm -hmm. are, that are going to be there. There's going to be distance. Yep. You're going to have your response time. Yep. You're going to have your price. So price, including travel and, uh, the service call. And then there's also going to be another unique one, which is going to be your reputation, which is very revolutionary. So your reputation is going to be a score kind of like Angie's list where if you are an excellent provider of service, mm -hmm. then the customer can read the, your prior reviews. Exactly. Yeah. It's like in your personal life, like the way I buy, if I go to Amazon, I want to see the ratings and the reviews. They're right. Yeah. So the customer. I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the customers are going to see that now. And like, I was just talking to somebody yesterday, a friend of mine who's in the industry and, and he was really excited about that feature because he, number one, it helps the technicians take ownership. Okay. You know, and it's like when the companies get involved, the ISOs or OEMs, guess what? They're going to get rated too. Oh, so, right, right. Yeah. So a lot of times like this guy, he hears a lot about, well, I don't want to go third party. Uh, I only do OEM. And then sometimes the OEMs aren't any better, you know, but there's not good data to show that the OEM is not because they're not rated. You know, right. so let's that's, rate everybody. That's very true. In yeah. fact, you know, a lot of OEMs, everybody thinks OEMs are the best. But uh, actually, data says quite the opposite. Yep. It, it, and if they did have a record score, which OEMs, they could also be on this app and they will be. Yep. And, but it's basically a marketplace so that people can bid on jobs or there can be a prime vendor that's already associated if there's contracts or something like that involved. Mm -hmm. But when, while we're talking about it, how, if I'm a technician and I'm signed up and I'm vetted, how am I going to get paid? So <laughs> from my understanding, Downtime Trace, the, one of the most revolutionary things about it is that it's also going to act as a broker, right? Yeah. So yeah. how is that going to work? Yeah, so I, we, we thought about the, the brilliance of like Airbnb, you mm -hmm. know, and Uber. And, and one of the, the, the factors is that you can uh, trust the app. Whereas if you're at Airbnb, a lot of times the owners of the properties didn't trust the, the renters and the renters didn't trust the owners of the properties, it's right? true. For obvious reasons. And so the middleman would be paid. And this, the technology in this case was the middleman, right? So in this case, we're gonna have the hospitals pay us through the app and then you're gonna get paid by the app, right? 
And so the technology controls all that. It's called My Bank. So you, you okay. on your profile, will have a My Bank. It'll have all your information. Uh, you'll preload it, so all the, the the funds go where you want them to go, like direct deposit would. And so yeah, we we collect, you know, and and you get paid fast within you know our goal is <laughs> like within 24 hours. But you know you're gonna get paid fast even if we don't collect. Right. We have mechanisms called it's called factoring. It's called invoice factoring, where we'll get you at least 80 percent of yours. And then we'll go collect, and you'll get the twenty percent after we get the rest of everything else. Interesting. So the billing purposes are one, for one. A lot of technicians aren't the best at that aspect of business. I mean, let's just let's just be realistic. We we fix things. We're usually not very good at business. So I want to get paid, and you figured that out. And also, you take care of a lot of the invoicing and stuff. You figured that out as well. Yep. Those are all really cool factors. Now, this is going to be launched in Texas. And Texas, if you guys didn't know, it's the medical center of the entire world. And the, the unusual thing about Texas is we're huge. We're absolutely huge. There's a lot of communities and a lot of medical centers and whatnot that are in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're just looking for a little bit of help. Yeah. They're like, hey, I need some help. We're out in the middle. Of, they still have MRs. They still have CTs. They still have ultrasounds. And often they just have no idea who to call. Yeah, that's exactly right. We're, it, so you said it before, marketplace. Mm -hmm. and, and part of that is like, you know, stories I've gone through in my career where like one in Florida, for example, the radiology department manager out there, he, he was out on the tarmac at the local airport at like midnight to pick up a tube. And his, his equipment was covered by Siemens. His CT was covered by Siemens. And yet he was out there on the tarmac. <laughs> so upset. And he was waiting for service. He was waiting for labor. And it, but the thing that he said, he's like, man, Danny, I wish I could have just let everybody who could know, who should know that I was down, know right. just by blasting out the information. Because Florida, them. there's probably 30, 40 different people that yeah. are residents there that can probably service that equipment. It's, totally. There's so many options. And they, they didn't even know he was down. Right. And so he, he felt like I didn't do everything I could for my hospital. And so, and even if he did take that step, he'd have to call somebody, wait mm -hmm. for him to call back, call somebody else. Set somebody up as a vendor. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, there's a lot yeah, of paperwork exactly. and a lot of legalities. So basically, Downtime Trace is going to be the vendor and everybody else is going to be a contractor through the vendor. And that way there, it's a single point vendor for the medical facility, which makes things so much easier. Mm -hmm. And obviously they've already figured out how to get people paid, which is the number one reason why a lot of you technicians out there don't take that leap to become your own business or an independent technician. Yep. It's because you don't want the scary, I don't have a paycheck. Well, they've kind of figured that all out. <laughs> so. yeah. Well, and it's 5X pay too. It's not your normal pay. It's like, That's true. As you look at what you're paid as a, as a tech today and what all techs are paid who are under a company, right? It's 50 to 100 bucks an hour probably on average, right? Mm -hmm. And how much are the companies getting today, right? You look at this. 400 this, an hour? Yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. And, and so they keep it. And now with this, with technology, you'll get to keep the majority. You know, Downtime Trace takes a commission like Uber does. That's, yep. our, that's our part. It's a small skim, but the rest goes to you. Interesting. Yep. So as I, I was saying earlier, you know, we have a lot of entities that are out in the middle of nowhere. So when you, when you start talking about the supply and demand, you know, let's say you live out in Philadelphia and you're an expert at GE CTs. Well... If you have nothing going on, you can put out a bid, say, hey, I can be there. Let's say even $10,000, I'll be there tomorrow. You can get an overnight flight. If you're the only one that bid on it, there is a very good chance that you will get that job. That's right. That's it's right. a supply and demand situation. Yep. When medical imaging systems are down, especially here in Texas, out in the middle of nowhere, there's no other options. Yep. There are hundreds of miles in between medical facilities in some locations. And in those instances, lives could be in danger. Yep. So, yep. for every minute that they're down, it's costing them money. Yep. And at the same time, reputation, uh, you know, that's one of the things that he works very heavily on is yeah. establishing a reputation for medical centers. Yep. Now, downtown Trace is going to also establish a reputation for technicians. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, their interface was a driving factor. My brother and I are the co-founders of this. And uh, our experience as technicians growing up in operations like really drove this idea. And he was an HTM manager, and then he would leave and go work uh, slinging pizzas after, right? So he was delivering pizzas for like 25 bucks an hour, and it, it was just really hard on him knowing that 
somebody in the hospital he worked at was going to call a vendor and pay oh, whatever man. ridiculous amount, right? 5000 just to show up and right. $2,000 an hour. And he's like, I can do that work, but yet I'm making 25 bucks an hour, right? So right. I think that's pretty common from what we understand. That's actually kind of a cool concept because if I got a certain set of skills and my phone's always on me, mm -hmm. let's say I got nothing going on this weekend. You know, I always say that technicians, every single minute of your time should have a dollar sign associated to it because yeah. you have skills and no skills can equal dollars. If you're a struggling company, a small company, you don't have the money to do your own advertising campaigns, right? But if you're registered and you're competitive on your pricing and your response time, you can make a very successful living with Downtime Trace. Yeah, yeah. And if you have a great reputation, right? You can really make a name for yourself and we want to even the playing field. Like, again, that's a really important aspect of this. Yeah. With the ratings and reviews like you're used to, if we can rate everybody the same way, whether you're an OEM or an ISO. Now, we're not going to take choices away from hospitals. Like, if there's an ISO or an OEM option, they're going to be on the bid list too. So you're going to be compared to them. And how obvious is it going to be when $1,000 pops up that they're charging per hour and you're there with your $300 per hour? I mean, and you can be there faster. You know, like, what, that's a no-brainer. Absolutely. Now, if... Technicians know that their score is going to be relevant to their conduct, then you're probably going to be a better technician, right? It's kind of like cops always having a, a camera on them. Yep. It's just the way it is. And we don't currently have that in this in industry. But if you are interested in helping us serve the Texas medical community, there is going to be a link in the video description. And that link is going to take you to a website where you can put in your information. You can register. There, they're going to vet you. And once you're vetted, you will be part of the program. And when the calls start coming in, you'll have the opportunity to, to bid on them mm -hmm. and make that extra money, right? Yep. yep. All right, guys. So that's Downtime Trace. Check it out down below. We're also going to have some more videos on this in the future so that you can see the technology live because it's way more fascinating when you actually see what it's really going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Register. If you are a medical imaging service provider, you have certain skills, you got certain certifications, you could be making more money even if it's on the side. I've been trying to tell a lot of people for a long time that you don't necessarily have to work a full-time gig. You could be a part-time gig worker. Yep. Quality of life. Yep. Isn't that what we're all trying to get to? Yeah, I know it is for me. Yeah, burnout's a big deal. And we've just scratched the surface. So there's four videos. Once you go to this link, you're gonna get you know asked to give your information, but it's gonna give you access to four videos that it mm -hmm. go much deeper than what we've gone here. So you, right. if you're curious, you can kind of scratch that itch when you watch the videos. All right, guys, check it out. Link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.